Ah, pues ven, 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 Eduardo. Claudia, una vez, solo es una vez. En el teclado tiene que ser eso, Claudia. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Yes, I hear you. Very good. How are you today? I'm all right, sir. Fine. Fine. Thank you, teacher. Good, good. Nice. Did you have a good day? Yes. Yes. Good. All day, my, my day was uh, um, busy, but... Okay. Uh -huh. And now I rest in my house and begin my class, my good. English class. Good, very good. Uh, good, e good evening, everybody. Good evening, Guillermo. How are you? Yeah, I'm great. Thank you for asking, sir. How are you? I'm doing okay. Thank you. Thanks. Great. All right. Good evening, so, class. How good are you? evening, Francis. How are you? Good, good. Very good. Nice, nice. Okay. So, welcome back, everybody. What is today's date? Today is October 28th. Yes, October 28th. October is gone. Almost done. Yeah. Yeah. Sí. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I remember when we were Pero no eh, no hice nada, no solo se reló. We were uh starting November, I mean October. Uh we were talking about Children's mm -hmm. Day, you know, and it's and, and, and the month is gone already. Yeah. So, and next yeah. thing we know, you know, November is going to be gone, December is going to be gone, and We'll see. 2020 is going to be gone right. very soon. With a lot of history. <laughs> yeah. Definitely, definitely true. Yeah. What you just say is that With a lot next, of next year, and next year, we're going to, uh, how, to, how can I tell you this? We're going to discover new things that, did, that people did in this year. Yeah. Yeah. Only, only, only things. Right. I, I, I don't know if you get what, 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 what I'm trying to tell you. Yes, I mean, like many people, you know, like this pandemic like, like, changed uh, people's lives. Yeah, also in, in, in other time of people, uh, no, I, I can say anymore. Okay, yeah, just, good. Just stay like this. All right, so welcome back, everybody. It's October 28, 2020. Let's begin. Uh, do you remember the topics we covered last night? No, do you do time you? clauses? Time clauses. Yes. Can you give me examples of time clauses? Before, after. Before, after. Yes. Until. 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 Yes. The moment. Once. Uh-huh, the, the moment, by the time. Yes, so those are time clauses. Um, we use them to speak um, in a very complete way. So remember, do you remember how many parts grammar has? How many parts does grammar have? Verbs, nouns, adjectives, blah, 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 blah. How many do we have? Who remembers? Mm. The American a version. Subject. Uh, okay, but those are the, the, the parts of a sentence. 
when I say the parts of grammar, I'm talking about verbs, nouns, adjectives, adverbs, blah, blah, blah. The American version has okay. eight parts. It has eight parts. The British version has nine parts. Nine, nine parts. So when you study the two, uh, the two different grammars, you will agree more with the British version than, than the American version. So, but anyways, so, um, but we have eight parts of, of, of speech, eight, eight parts of grammar. So verbs and nouns are the, the most important for you to communicate. Anyways, um, anything else besides the time clauses? Any questions, any comments on how to use it or how to pronounce it? No. No? Okay, so let us begin. Uh, do you guys remember past models? How do you say, me hubiera quedado en casa? I, I would stay home. Mm. Not exactly. I could I, stay home. I have stay home. I have, I have, have stayed stay home. Okay. Okay. I heard like I could have stayed home. I would have stayed home, which are uh, I have grammatically correct. But remember that the meaning changes. Um. What is the the model that we use to talk about possibilities? Could, could, should, should. Uh, could, could is for possibilities. Could. Now, what's the model that we use to give suggestions or advice? Should, should. Okay. What is the model that we use to talk about hypothetical things? Iria, I, Maria, I hypothetical would, things. Would. 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 So mm -hmm. let, 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 me, would. let me write it in the chat. If you want to say, me hubiera quedado en casa. I, I one more time. I will have stayed at home. Okay. Okay, I should have stayed home. I should have stayed home. Oh, yeah. Okay, now, yeah, if right. you say, I would have stayed home, it's a, it's a nice uh, sentence, but when you're saying, I would have stayed home, you're saying, yo me habría quedado en casa. So you're putting yourself in the shoes of the other person, so the meaning is a little bit different. So um, <laughs> when you're using um, models in past, that is the structure that we use. Mm -hmm. So what is the, how can you explain that structure when you're talking about models in past? That structure is universal, it's standard. How do you explain that structure? You have the... We use the subject Okay. The model should. Okay. The verb have and the verb, the principal verb in, par, in participle. Past, in past participle. Okay. All right. So we have plus have plus the main verb in past participle. And uh, sometimes the complement, but you don't really need a complement sometimes. So you have the subject, I, you, we, they, he, she, it. You use the model. Remember that every model has a specific function. Can is different than should. Would is different than can. May is different than must. So every model, Every model has a specific function. So then you use have, then you use the main verb, I didn't spell it correctly, the main verb in past participle, 
and the complement. So what is the model that we use to talk about something is mandatory? Must. 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 Okay. What yep. is the what is the model that we use to talk about possibilities? We have three options. What are those three options? Would, could, could, could might. Okay, uh, could, may, and might. May, might. Could, may, and, may, and, may, might. and, may, and those might. Those three, those three, they express possibilities. So do we have an exam today? Tom, we could, but when you say we could, they're not giving you 100% uh, certainty. Do we have an exam today? Uh, we may have an exam today. It's a possibility. Or they ask you, do we have an exam today? You can say, well, we might. I'll let you know in, uh, in 10 or 15 minutes. So those three, they <laughs> express, uh, let me write them there. Could, may, might. Could, may, and might. Those three, mm -hmm. they express possibilities. possibilities. Right? What is the one you use to talk about uh, suggestions yes, or advice? You should, 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 should. What is the one you use when something is imperative or mandatory? Almost. Must. 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 Okay. Uh, what is the one you use for hypothetical situations? Would. 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 Very good. Would. All right. So there you have uh examples of models so when you're saying things in the past that you regret or you wish they could have been different first you need to understand what the function is of each one so if it's a possibility you say could may might if it's an advice you use should if it's something mandatory you use must and if it's something hypothetical you use would cool. Any questions so far? No. Yes, teacher. I, yes, I don't Ellen. understand yet. I don't understand yet the difference between could, cool, may, and might. Okay. Could, may, and might, the three express possibilities. The difference is that could is more possible than may, and may okay. is more possible than might. So um, okay. let's say you're getting ready to go to work. You look at the sky and the sky is like color gray. So you suspect that there might be rain. So, huh, it could rain. So I'm going to take my umbrella. Now you look mm -hmm. at the sky, it's not that great, but we are in the rainy season, in the rainy period. So, well, it may rain. So I'm going to take my umbrella just in case. Now, when you open the door of your house, you look at the sky, it's, it's sunny, but we're in this rainy season. So you said it might rain. Now it's a possibility, but it's very small. So that is the okay. difference. Okay, thank you. Yes, and remember that models, uh, in, like in the case of, uh, of could, could is the past tense of can. How do you say no pude venir? I, I couldn't, couldn't come. come. I couldn't come, right? Now, may has double function. What is the double function of may? For permission. Uh, Carlos? Uh, for permission, maybe? Yes, to ask for permission. May I speak with you? Yes. And the other one? Mm. We for may have a quiz today. For possibility. Possibility. So, double function. Might has only one function and it expresses a, a small possibility. Might. Mm -hmm. Might. 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 Yes. Might. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, teacher. Yes. Uh, I think uh, cool and wool are very similar. So, uh, what's the difference between them? Okay. Could expresses possibility. For example, uh, imagine that uh, I'm using public transportation and I put my cell phone here and I fall asleep. 
And then when I wake up, I say to myself, pude haber perdido el teléfono. How do you say that in English? You could have lost, I could I could lost my cell phone. I could have lost my cell phone. I could have lost my cell phone. If you compare my example, I could have lost my, ex my cell phone. You are using uh, the personal pronoun, <laughs> the model, plus have, the main verb, which is lose. It goes in past participle loss. Lost, lost. And, and the complement will be my cell phone. I could have lost my cell phone. Now, I could have. I pude haberlo have. perdido. I could have. I could have. have lost. Could have lost it. I could have lost. Could have lost. Now, I could have lost. I could have lost. lost. Now, if you're putting yourself in the shoes of the other person, you said, Yo lo habría perdido. Then you said, I would have lost it. So, could, could expresses a possibility that didn't happen. That didn't happen. Okay. You use would to talk about something hypothetical because you're putting yourself in the shoes of the other person. So, he says, I would have lost it. Ah, okay. So that's why, lost it. that's why you have to be careful when you're using models in past. You have to make sure that you completely understand the function of each one. So you I send the right have, message. I okay. Have. All right. Thank you. Good. 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 All right. Any other questions? Good. Any other questions or comments? Good. Uh, can you say the pronunciation, teacher? I could have. I could have. Could have. Could have. Now, uh, that's could've. a very good question. Remember that native speakers, they could've. always use contractions when they talk. So, uh, yes. when we learn the language, we say could have, may have, should have, which is fine. Should have. People understand what you're saying. Could've. The problem is that native speakers, they usually use contractions. So your listening has to be active when they are pronouncing a uh, uh, contraction. Could have, contraction. would have, must have, made of. Made of. Yes. Could have. Mm -hmm. How do you say, imagine mm -hmm. that um, you took an exam and um, your score was, was good. But your friend tells you, pudo haber sido mejor. How will you say that in English? It could have been better. It could have been better. It could have. Could have been better. Could have been better. Been better. And, and, and please notice, please notice that sometimes people omit the personal pronoun and say, man, could have been better. Yeah. Could have could been have better. Been. So if... if so when you understand the structures that I'm explaining right now, try to use it uh, in the contracted form because that's how native speakers talk. So could have been better. Could have been better. Uh-huh. Could have been better. How do you say pudiste haber ido más rápido? You could have gone you could have been faster. You could have gone faster. You gone could have gone faster. So people are waiting for you at a meeting and you're taking your time. So when you arrive late, they said, oh man, you could have gone could have, faster. You could have, you you could could have, have gone, gone, faster. gone faster. You could have gone faster. You could have. How do you say, me pudiste faster. haber dicho? Me pudiste haber dicho. You could, you could have, have told me. You could have told me. Hey, you could have told me. You could have told me. You could have told me. You can say, you wouldn't told me. You would have told me. You can, but the message is different. Usted me habría dicho. It's different than saying, me pudiste haber dicho. So you say, no, I trust you. Don't worry. You would have told me. Usted me habría dicho. So... The, the sentence is good, but the message is yeah. different. Okay. All right. Could have been, couldn't couldn't is more the, as a mandatory, right? As something. Uh, could have is, <coughs> I'm sorry. Could have is used when you want to express that something was very possible. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Okay. But it didn't happen. It right. didn't happen. So let's say your friend tells you that he or she went to a concert, but they didn't say anything to you. So you tell them, me pudiste haber llevado. How do you say that? Uh, you could have. You could have taken. Me. Excellent. Uh, you could have taken take, me. Taking me. This. You could have taken me. Or, 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 you, or you wouldn't take me. You wouldn't you take would me. Have, you would have taken me. Yeah. yeah. Taking me. Yes, but the message is different. You're saying, usted me habría llevado. But, and you must also, right? Yeah, because you must like have taken me. A claiming. Debiste haberme llevado. Yes. Uh huh. It's yeah. more a claim. In that case, in that case, then the message stays in the same area. So you could have taken me. Look, you must have taken me. So mm -hmm. it's, it sounds a little bit stronger too. Right. Yeah. Okay. You now, must... what if, what if, what if uh, you go see your doctor and you're not taking your medicine yes. and the doctor tells you, deberías haberte tomado la medicina? You, must... you should have taken you should... your medicine. You should have taken your medicine. You should have taken, taken your medicine. Taking, taking your medicine. Your medicine. Yeah. Man, Francisco, you're not paying attention. Taking. You should have taken your medicine. Yes. Okay. Any questions? You should have so far? Taken, taken your medicine. Mm -hmm. You, you should, should have taken your medicine. Right. Okay. Have, now, any questions have, about this introduction? Should have taken. No, only no, taking. What do you say to wear a spanial? You should have taken a bath. Taking a shower. Two of them taking a shower. You should have taken a shower. You're giving an advice. So, how would you say, Yo me hubiera bañado? Yo me habría bañado. I would have. I would have. I would have. I would have. I would have taken a shower. I would, I would have taken a shower, right? So when you say I would have taken a shower, you're putting yourself in the shoes of the other person. So yo me habría bañado. Now, if I want to say me hubiera bañado, then then the I could, I should have, I should have taken a shower. Oh, I should. Okay, okay. So let me show you this document. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it. The ones that are already exploring the, the platform. Uh, ha, ha. Where did I leave this here? Right here. How do you say te pudiste saber caído? You could, you could, uh, could have fallen. Have fallen. Have fallen. You could have fallen. You could have fallen. Uh huh. You have fallen. How do you say the police? Yes. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, but the con contract way, you on, you only use for sure wood and cool. Uh, Actually, you use the contractions with all uh, with all the models. You could have, should have, must have. So let let me write it in the chat. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Could have. Could have. Could have. Could have. Would have. Should have, and, and and this is the one of the reasons why uh, people that are learning the language they prefer not to use the contraction form because at the beginning it might sound a little bit strange like would have, should have, would have, but remember the more you practice the better you get. So it is highly recommended that 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 you guys use the contraction form. Might have, could have. It's hard to understand, especially when the Americans uh, talk uh, faster. Right, 
right. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and that's why uh, you guys need to expose yourselves to movies, music, documentaries, tutorials, where gringos use the language in a very natural way. So when the time comes and you speak face to face, you know, it will be easier for you. So, uh, Celia, you use the contracted form with all models, must of, should of, would of, and all of them. Thank you. All right. Okay, so can you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Okay. So, when you want to express regret, you use should of. Now, what is the meaning of regret? Uh, Arrepentir. Uh -huh, Arrepentimiento. Exactly. Yes. Yep. So I should have studied something more practical when I was in college. How do you say that one in Spanish? Uh -huh. What? I should have studied something more practical when I was in college. Yo debía haber estudiado algo más Yo debería haber estudiado algo más práctico. Ajá. So, uh, when you're making that sentence, you're expressing regrets. Maybe the... Go, uh -huh, go ahead. Es, es yo debí, ¿verdad? Yo debí. Eh, no, hubiera. No, yo debí. De, yo hubiera ah, yo estudiado. Hubiera. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yo I hubiera should. estudiado algo más práctico. So, when you say uh -huh. this sentence, the message is uh, that the person maybe is not enjoying what he or she is doing when this person is talking. Look at the second one. I shouldn't have waited so long to choose a major. How do you say that one in Spanish? Yo no debía esperar Debería haber esperado tanto, tanto para escoger un alcalde, ¿no? ¿Qué es para esco me, okay. Debería, si va, if, if, if he has with the Y, then it's alcalde. This is career. Yeah, major makes reference to oh. a career. Yes. I see. So this one is pronounced major, debería, debería major. Ja, ja, major, major, and when you want to say alcalde, you say mayor, mayor. and you I spell see. it like mayor with the Y. Hey. So, no debía haber esperado tanto para escoger una carrera. Okay, mm -hmm. any mm -hmm. questions with the first two examples? Uh, yo hubiera... No debí, yo no debí. How do you haber say esperado. debí haberte esperado? I should have you waited, waited. waited for you. For you. Man, waited I should have you. waited for you. I should have waited for you. How do you say yo no hubiera dicho eso? I shouldn't I have, shouldn't have said it. I shouldn't have, have told. Told. said that. I I shouldn't, I, have shouldn't have said that. That. I shouldn't I have shouldn't said that. I shouldn't have said that. Said that. Right. Said yeah, you know, and that's why people tell that. you, look, if you're angry, don't speak. <laughs> when you're happy, don't make promises. Okay? Yes, you're right. <laughs> yeah, you know, like you're angry, don't speak. When you're happy, don't make promises. All right. Um, any questions with the first two uh, examples? Me, mister, and you can say, I wouldn't say that. Also. Uh, yo no habría dicho eso. Yes, you can. Yeah. Yes, you can. But the message is a little bit different. Yeah. Okay, describing hypothetical situations. <laughs> if I had been more ambitious in college, I could have learned another language. How would you say that one in Spanish? Si yo hubiera sido más ambicioso, yo hubiera aprendido otra lengua. Yo podría haber aprendido. Ah, podría haber aprendido. Podría haber aprendido otro idioma. Exactly. Otro Good. idioma. Otro idioma. If I had been, if I had been is pudiera. Si ah. yo, no, 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 si yo hubiera, si yo hubiera sido. Exactly. If, yeah. Now, um, that example, the beginning, uh, in the first part, that is past perfect. If I had been more ambitious. Look at the second example. If I hadn't wasted so much money last year, I would have my own apartment now. Yo tuviera mi propio apartamento. Uh-huh. How, how do you say the first part in Spanish? 
Si yo no hubiera invertido tanto dinero en el último año, podría tener. O podría tener mi propio apartamento ahora. Exacto. Yo tuviera. Ok. Yo tendría mi. Yo tendría. Ah, tendría. Yo tendría. So, as you can see this year, uh, si hubiese sido más ambicioso en la universidad, that means that the person was not uh, very ambitious. If I hadn't wasted so much money last year, that means that the person did the opposite. This person wasted much money last year. So, when you're using... Um, Past models, you are saying something to send a particular message. How do you say, no te hubiera contado? No te hubiera dicho. I shouldn't have told you. I shouldn't have told you. Because you're saying to yourself, no te hubiera contado. I should, I now, if you I say, shouldn't have told you. I shouldn't have told you. Now I regret it. So, se está repintiendo. So, you use the regretting part. Now, the hypothetical situation. Now, what is hypothetical? What's the meaning of hypothetical? Something, something that didn't happen. Could happen. That could happen, but, right. but something, you're not sure. Something that could have happened, but it didn't. So, it's hypothetical. It, it, it wasn't real. So mm -hmm. now you can say, I wouldn't have told you that. Yo no te hubiera dicho eso. So the person is telling you a story and then you give your point of view and then you said, yo no te hubiera contado nada. I wouldn't have told you anything. I wouldn't have told you. Uh-huh. Any questions or comments? Do you have regrets in your life? Well, everybody. Oh, yes. <laughs> everybody. Oh, yes. Right. Yes, yes. <laughs> right. Be a liar if someone say no. Right. <laughs> yes, uh, I regret though. so many things in life. You wouldn't believe me if I told you my story. <laughs> okay. So let me okay. send you an, an image of, of this explanation. I will assign you to work in pairs. And please paraphrase what you have. Um, Understood. So let me see. Okay. Nine, ten. Okay. Create room. So here we go. Just paraphrase what you understood. Hello, hello. Hello. How are you today? Very good. Nice. Do you have any questions about how to use models in past? Um, let me see, teacher. Uh -huh.
Okay, so discuss what you have understood and I'll come back. Okay, okay. All right, so do the talking. Okay, straight with myself. <laughs> okay. Maciel and Noé. Hi. Hello, teacher. Okay, do you have any questions about this topic? Mm. Um, now, sometimes the explanation, because this is not difficult, uh, the only mission that you have is to have a clear understanding of, of what the function is of each model. So once you understand the, the general function of models, then you can use it in the past form. Okay, and uh, how can you use with uh, verb be? You use being. Uh, for example, pudiste haber llegado temprano. You could have been early. You could have been. Been always, early. Always using how. You always need to use the model plus have and the form of the main verb is always past participle. Been, okay. Yes. So how do you say pudo haber sido peor? Pudo it haber could, sido peor. It could be. No, could not it could been, be. Okay. It, it could, could have, have been, been worse. Could have been worse. It could have been worse. Exactly. Yes. Okay. So you remember the structure is, is easy to understand it, but you need to be very careful when you use the model and you need to know the past participle of the of the verb. So, yes, yes. So so many times just practicing gives you the you get the hang of it. Yep. Okay. All right. I have uh own another house. Oh, Do you have any questions about this topic? Uh, um, yes. Uh huh. I have a question. Yeah. Um, um we we should uh, is just for give uh, to express regret. Regret. Ah, okay. Uh, just for that, right? Right. Yes. Or or when you're telling someone advice about what this person could have done. No hubiera sido. That, that, you know, I went to a party and there was a fight and someone hit me with a, with something. And then you tell the person, you shouldn't have a gun. No hubiera sido. So you're giving advice about something that happened in the past tense. Okay. And is the, uh, the structure, the structure, yes, yeah, structure, is always, always with have, always. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if it's he, she, it. You need to say have. Okay, okay. Uh huh. How do you say ella te hubiera llamado? She should. She should. Uh huh. Call it to you. She should have called she you. Have. She should, she should have called you. Debería haberte llamado. She should have called. She should have. She should have. She should have. She should have called you. She should have called you. She should have called you. Yes. And when you guys explore the platform, um, there is a small video on how they explain how to pronounce the contracted form. So my suggestion is, whenever you're you're practicing with this topic, always use uh, the contractions. Okay. Yep. So it, it takes it takes yeah. a, a lot of practice. Yeah. All right. Ah, uh, hey, this is the teacher. Hello. Hello. How are you? Uh, Hi. We were. We were uh, making up. <laughs> okay. I like just said the last night. <laughs> <laughs> what were you making up? Uh, if I have been more popular uh -huh. in the college, <laughs> okay. Uh, I have 
I could have more, uh, a lot of boyfriends. <laughs> okay, I could have had. I could I, have. I had, could have had a lot of boyfriends. A right? lot of boyfriends, okay. Yeah. I could, uh, it's like, I could have had uh -huh. a lot of boyfriends. Exactly, okay. yeah. Okay. So, for example, if you said, if I had saved money, si yo hubiera ahorrado dinero, I could have had enough to buy a big house. I could have had enough to buy a bigger house. So you always use the model plus have and plus the past participle of the verb. Okay, I had to learn about the, the participle verb. Exactly. You know, and, and uh, knowing the past participles, it's not that difficult. It's just a matter of practicing. Yes. Mm -hmm. So how do you say, te pudiste haber quebrado el pie? Uh, you, 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 could, you could have uh, broken your leg. Your leg, your foot, yes. Your foot. Uh-huh. Okay. Good. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's pretty simple. Robert, how do you say pudiste haber planchado la camisa? Uh, you couldn't have ironed the t-shirt. Exactly. So imagine you go to, you go to a, a meeting and your shirt doesn't look nice. And your it, boss it, tells all you. all wrinkled. All wrinkled, exactly. So your boss tells you, man, you could have ironed your shirt. So yeah, so that's that's the general uh, structure, the standard structure that you use when you're using past models. I think the key is to to memorize uh -huh. the the verb the verbs <laughs> in the past participle. The particip past participle verbs. Right, yes. and and have a clear understanding of what the function is of each model. Yeah, right. You're right. Okay. I use the calendars, for example, in Google, in the Google or, or Outlook. Uh, I, I made a, a calendar for my activities and I shared it with my boss. So he can see, he knows what am I doing, what okay. I am doing. So yeah, I like it. You're working from home, Carlos? Uh, yes, right now I'm working from home. I just go to office uh, on every Tuesday. But the rest of the, the of the week, I I have to be in my home. Okay, which one do you prefer, working from home or being at the office? Uh, because of my time of, because of my personality, I prefer to stay at the office because in my house I I get lost <laughs> for everything. <laughs> <you know? laughs> I I try. I I, I put my schedule. Uh, I I have my calendar, of course. But it is hard. I, I yeah. have I have issues with my focus, so I lost the focus really, really easily. <laughs> easily. Yeah. Okay. What about you, Valentina? Are you doing home office? No, uh, I don't have a work. Oh, you don't have work. I, okay. But I study. Okay. Uh, but I, I I feel weird to take my class uh, online. In, Online, yes, because I feel uh, different. I feel see. I feel silly. I don't know. It's confused. Right. But, uh, <laughs> and look, look, look. The thing that I, that is in in front of me, and I is is my house. And when I when I uh, when I went when I went to to the university. Uh, you you know that that this place is exactly for the study. Right, you know so that happens to me sometimes. Like I have things to do because I'm doing home office uh, with all the classes that I have, and um, certain things, some administrative things that I do, I do them at home. But sometimes I'm laying back on the sofa, like if I have nothing to do, you know, <laughs> because like oh my god, this sofa feels really good you know or, yeah. but yeah we, we gotta be disciplined when we're doing uh 
home that, office. That's but, the the, but the advantage of this is that you can eat <laughs> all the time. Right, right. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you know, it's not like an advantage. <laughs> yeah. You know, and it's easier for you guys when you guys are the, 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 the student part, you know, because we don't, we're not going to say anything, but sometimes I'm hungry and I'm like, man, what, what you yeah. know, like, I need to eat. <laughs> yeah, but you can. Yes. How, how many classes do you, how many classes do you have in? Uh, 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 I have. Uh, go. Go ahead. Valentina? Uh, I have uh, four classes four in class. the day, every day. One hour each class? Uh, two, uh, two, six, six, no, uh, six a.m. Uh, six a.m.? Uh, yes. Oh I gosh. have to, to wake up by 30. Close. Uh, <laughs> uh, and and sometimes I have to turn on the camera, so it's high. Yeah, <laughs> it's because, high. Of, because of the bad hair. <laughs> yes, yes, and the, and the bad face. <laughs> you know, I was taking a training last week. It was from 7 a.m. to 3.30. So oh, I will God. set the alarm, you know, like at 6.30 and, and give me time to... Uh, to get myself a coffee and do what I had to do. And seven o'clock, I was in front of the computer, you know? So it's, uh, yeah, thing, things have changed. Yes, you have. Yeah. Definitely. And you yeah. Sure how, how many classes do you have in the day? Um, right now, I have three, four different groups. Three of them groups are online, including uh, this group. And I have another one that it's presential, you know, like I see my oh, students. Okay. So, but I have four groups so far. It's, it's much less than what I had before the emergency came. But um, it is what it is, you know. Yeah. Teacher, do you feel uh, difficult to start give class online? Um, you know, I honestly, I prefer to have the face to face interaction. It's more personalized. Uh, you have a better control of who's there, what they're doing and everything. But this is not bad either. You know, like, you know, I teach uh, three different groups from from the same chair where I'm sitting at right now. Exactly. You don't need to to go out or... Right, right. So you don't have to worry about traffic or gasoline or, or accidents. I mean, so it's got pros and cons. It's just different. Right, right. Okay, let me visit someone else and okay. I'll be seeing okay. the main session. Okay. Bersave. I'm here, teacher. Uh-huh, who is your partner? No, I, he told me he, he will, he will. Leave? How is it? Yes. Okay. All um, right. So when that happens, send me a message so I can assign you to, uh, to another. Another group. person. Right. Okay. okay. Right. So let me, uh, okay. All right. So it's time to go back. Let's go back to the main session. Okay. All right, all right. Any questions or comments on how to use past models? Teacher, we yes, were Anita. talking with Herbert. If you have some exercise about this topic. Sure. Because yes. in the platform, there are some exercises, but there are a few exercises. Right. And I think we need practice more. Than exactly. That. And I was telling some of you guys, you know, that the structure of past models is not difficult to understand, but you need to have a very clear idea of the function of each model. 
function of should, function of could, uh, would, must, and, and all of the others. And secondly, you need to remember your past participles. Now you can say that te pudiste haber quebrado el pie. You could have broke your your foot. You know, people understand, broken. but it's not broke. It's broken, exactly. So when you're using the structure, let's say, I don't remember the past participle of the verb, you can use the simple past form or even the present uh, form. People will understand you, but grammatically speaking, it's not, it's not good. So you need mm -hmm. to know the function of the model, and also you need to know the past participle of the verbs. Okay. Yes, and I will bring more uh, exercises tomorrow because the platform has only like five different exercises, I guess. Yeah. Right? Okay, so um, any questions or comments about the past models? So imagine you are waiting for somebody and this person is late. You are 100% sure that this person got lost. So you say to yourself, debió haberse perdido. How do you say that? It should have. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Because if you're saying should, you said, se hubiera perdido. So, he must have got exactly. Lost. Now, what is the past tense of get? Got. 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 And the past got. 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 So uh -huh. how do you say, el debió mm, haberse right. perdido? He must have gotten lost. He, he must have gotten, gotten lost. Now, what is the contraction of must have? Must. Must. Must of. Must of. He must have gotten mm -hmm. lost. Gotten lost. Yep. Okay, must. questions. Must. How do you say, um, Ella debió haber ganado la lotería. She must have. She must have. She must have won the lottery. She must have won the lottery. So it's a person that she was very friendly with you. Hi, how are you? Blah, blah, blah. And one day she changes. She doesn't know you anymore. Or he doesn't know you anymore. So he said, ah, debió haberse ganado la lotería. So she must have won the lottery. She must have. Uh huh. She must have won the lottery. Must have. Must. She must have won must the lottery. Have. Uh huh. Yes. Any other questions or comments? Whoa. So imagine you visit your friend in your house, um, in in his or her house, and you don't like the color that you see inside the house. So you tell your friend. Yo habría pintado la pared. That is how I should have. I would I would have. I would have. The wall. The wall. I would have painted the wall. So they ask you, hey, do you have any comments about my house? No, you have a nice house, but I would have painted the wall. Yo habría pintado la, la pared. Right? But you can also say... In that example, you can also use uh, the model uh, should. Right, yes. I should have paint. Now, if you're regretting about something that you didn't do or something that you did, you said, man, I should have painted the wall. Hubiera pintado la pared. Right. So imagine okay. that your house is empty and you're renting it. So you have a client, a possible client, and they say, you know what? The house is very nice, but this is not my color. So I will keep looking. So then the person showing the house, he or she says to himself, I should have painted the, the, a different color. Lo hubiera pintado diferente. Because you are regretting. You are regretting. Yes. But it, but it is a, if in this case, it's a suggestion. It's right, in the past. Something that happened or something that didn't happen? Uh huh. How do you tell someone te hubieras quedado callado or callada? You, uh, 
should, should, should have been quiet. You should have been mm -hmm. quiet or you should have stayed should quiet. Hubieras stay quedado quiet. callada, hubieras estado callada. Ajá. Exactly. How do you say no hubieras cambiado el canal? You should have changed the channel. Good. Man, you shouldn't have changed that channel. Yes. So when you are talking about past models, you always use the model plus have plus the past participle of the verb. How do you say hubiera traído mis lentes? I should have brought my glasses. Exactly. So imagine I'm trying to read because I cannot read without glasses. And I say to myself, man, I should have brought my glasses. I should have brought my glasses. How do you say no hubiera comido tanto? I shouldn't have eaten. I shouldn't have eaten. Okay. A lot. Okay. I shouldn't have eaten a lot. Much. Eaten. 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 Okay. Eaten. 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 So, um, let me, you say, um, eaten, gotten. Teacher. Yes. In, I have a question. In yeah. all the cases, um, we use, uh, have, we have to use, um, the verb in uh, past participle. Mandatory. Okay. It's okay. mandatory all the time. It doesn't matter if you're saying should, would, could, might, must. You always need to use uh, the pa uh, the model plus have plus the past participle of the verb. Mandatory okay. all the time. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. And remember, even if the person is he, she, or it, you always use have. Has does not exist, even if you're saying he, she, it. Okay. Any other questions or comments? No. No? Okay. So if you don't have any questions or comments, um, tomorrow I will bring more exercises so you guys practice with this topic more. Um, visit the platform like I told you the first day. Don't leave everything until last. You know, Salvadorians, we are procrastinators. You know, we leave, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow. But, uh, you know, like it, it's better if, if you do things like daily or on a weekly basis, the latest. So okay. if you don't have any questions or comments, thank you very much for your time. Have a good night. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Peace. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 See ya. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See ya.